I've been to the ASCD conference. So I've been to, you know, main, that's a very mainstream conference. And it's really fascinating to, to kind of rub elbows with, with the folks who are in the mainstream because I'm not, you know, my, my work is, you know, I, my thesis was on uh, a democratic school and a home homeschool education resource center. Yeah. And so it's, it's really interesting to discover how, how invisible, I mean, homeschooling is not invisible anymore, period. <laughs> Everybody yeah. recognizes that. Yeah. Yeah, but they may not, may not recognize the value of it, and they may not recognize they, they most people don't recognize the democratic schools and the alternative world. If they do, they have a tr you know sort of trivial understanding of it. Uh, they most people, if you if you talk about democratic schools or a lot of them still call themselves free schools, is they think back to the conversation so, like, around it in the seventies. Yeah, yeah like it's like seventies. Yeah, that's. There, there's a reason why hundreds and hundreds of schools around the world, but, but in the U.S. in particular and in the U.K., tried to replicate like Summerhill and, and, and some of the alternatives. And there's a reason why most of them failed. And it's because they, they went off in directions that were a little biz from From our perspective as self-determination okay. theory people, we can recognize and say, oh, okay. They didn't recognize the value of structure because literally they talked about eliminating structure and and so there's still an element of that conversation that happens and so my oftentimes if i'm speaking to someone in the democratic school board and they kind of talk about a lack of structure like, what you mean is a different yeah, kind of structure <laughs> it is it's right like when you even when you talk about unschooling right it's not it's not lacking structure and i always right. maybe it's a rhythm right and maybe the rhythm is the proper thing to to think about you know this right, whole time right. i've been thinking about the indigo girls i love the indigo girls and one of yeah. their lyrics like like the hardest to learn is the least complicated mm -hmm. right and i think that once we apply that to education right that the hardest to learn is the least complicated we're, we're getting to the root there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. learning is 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 natural and very easy to do but it, it is rooted in love and relationship and care and all of right. those things. Right. And when we feel safe, then we can learn better. And, right. and it, it goes, it's all of those things. Yeah. yeah. This is the agentic schools vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible? is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.